In this video, we will review the basic operation of our SportSound monitoring applications. Every system should be commissioned using our SportSound monitor applications. Using this application is easy and it ensures that all amplifiers and drivers are outputting correctly. The monitor applications work with the SportSound 500 HD, 1500 HD, and 2000 HD outdoor sound systems. The monitor applications should be used during new installations and also after audio service calls to ensure a properly working system. Now I'm going to assume for this video that the software has already been loaded on your computer, but if not, pause here and install the necessary software. Refer to DD3318172 for instructions. First, you need to plug into the audio network. You can connect your computer in directly at the fiber conversion box or the control enclosure that is part of the speaker cabinet at any open Ethernet port. Ensure the Internet protocol on your computer is set correctly and remember to make sure to turn off all wireless network cards. If the system shipped prior to 2014, you may need to first statically set the IP addresses on the amplifiers. Refer to DD3318172 to perform this function. The amplifier firmware may also need to be updated first to revision B or greater for the monitor applications to work. Now that we have gone over how to get connected, let's get started. Open up the monitor application that corresponds to your system. For this video, I'm connected to a SportSound 1500 HD system. The system is comprised of multiple amplifier channels that are connected to various speakers with different frequency ranges split up into high frequencies, mid frequencies, and low frequencies. Press the Start Monitoring button in the top banner to start communication with your amplifier devices. First, look at the temperature. This displays the internal temperature of the amplifier. Our amplifiers have an operating range of up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit before they'll go into thermal standby. There is also a clip light on each amplifier. This indicates that the output stage of the amplifier is near clipping. If this light is solid red, turn the system down. If all your amplifiers are shown offline, check power to the speaker cabinet. Also check to make sure that your IP addresses are set correctly and that your wireless is turned off. Play full range audio through the system. Typically you would use a CD or MP3 device to do this. You will see the audio meters move based on the music content. Place all the amplifier channels in standby. Then unmute one at a time and listen to make sure that you hear audio. This ensures that you can hear audio outputting out of each amplifier. After you have finished verifying the amplifier output, turn off the music and turn all your amplifier channels back on. Now, depending on your headphones, you may not hear the low frequencies playing in this video. Now let's measure the driver's impedance value using the test tone buttons. Doing this step ensures that all drivers are connected and working properly within the system. The impedance value will stabilize after a few seconds, so take the last reading. Refer to the value under each channel to verify the impedance matches the specified value. Wind and other factors may affect the value, so if the value is within 1 ohm from the specified value listed, you're safe. Let's go ahead and perform the impedance test.
Now we can feel confident that the amplifiers and drivers are working properly within this system. Thank you.